If you are a disciple of Jesus, then God loves you and has a wonderful plan for your life, just like he did for the first disciples. What kind of wonderful plan? Well, Peter was crucified upside down. Andrew, his brother, was also crucified. James was executed by the sword. John, his brother, was exiled and died of old age. Philip was tortured and then crucified upside down. Bartholomew was skinned alive and he too crucified upside down. Thomas was speared to death while praying. Matthew was also killed by the spear. Thaddeus and Simon and the other James, all crucified. God's wonderful plan plan for you is to preach the gospel and make disciples just like these men did. It's why they were killed. The same Jesus who personally called these men has called us to do the same, even if it hurts. In Acts 5, the disciples were arrested and beaten for preaching the gospel. When they were let go, they left rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer dishonor for the name of Christ, and every day they continued to share the gospel. Jesus said that you are blessed when others revile and persecute you and speak evil against you falsely on account of him. Rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven. So God indeed has a wonderful plan for those who follow Jesus. For those who don't, His plan is to destroy all evildoers who do not believe in His Son. Even in this, God will be glorified. So you shouldn't tell an unbeliever that God has a wonderful plan for their life. You should tell them to turn from their sin and follow Jesus. Only His disciples are forgiven their sins, saved from death, and know His ways are wonderful when we understand the text.